Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is a, what day is it? Tuesday afternoon on the, I think it's the 6th of February, is that right? Yeah, 6th of February. And um, it's windy and a tiny bit cool. There's a cool breeze, but we have had diabolical weather here. Anyway, that's the weather report, that's the date. Oh, 2024, I should say, shouldn't I? Just in case you're watching this sometime in the future. Um, you look at a beautiful box here. Let me hold it up so you can see who it is in this box. Elowen Wild. Now, this is my very first time of seeing an Elowen Wild in the wild. I just don't want that to go on, otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it off. There we go, that's better. I'll just balance it like that. So, um... Before I get started, let me just introduce myself in case you've come upon this video because you're interested in Ello and Wild rather than what I usually do. My name is Suzanne. I live in Sydney, Australia, which you may be able to pick up from my accent that I'm Australian. And um, I'm a doll collector, a big time doll collector. I've been a doll collector for a long, long, long time. 30 years or so. And um, I mostly in the past have collected vintage or even a few antique dolls. Not so much the antique bisque ones, but things like Show and Hut, which are wooden dolls from America, and um, Kata Kruse, which is my ultimate favourite doll, a German cloth doll. Um, so I have so many different types of dolls. I have dolls from the 60s, I have dolls from the 50s, I have dolls from the... 1900s I have dolls from the present day and at the moment I'm really enjoying modern dolls because you can buy lots of outfits for them you can change them and without fear of damaging them which is you know I can't really do with my old dolls because I don't they have come in original outfits mostly and so I don't like to change them plus every time you look sideways at an old doll you know, you're, in, you're at risk of an arm falling off or elastic snapping, you know, anything. So <laughs> that's why I absolutely love modern dolls. Um, I think I started recently, well, in the last few years with a doll called Smart Doll, which is a vinyl doll from Japan, made by a very small company called Culture Japan that is owned by Danny Chu. So I'm very, very into Smart Dolls, but as a result, well, I'm not directly connected, but I have discovered these beautiful vinyl dolls made by Robert Tonner. I've known about his dolls for ages. I don't have any. I, I've loved all the little ones and all the different ones he's done, but I just haven't bought any until right now. Now, I did not get this directly from, oh, from Robert Tonner. I bought it from the Virtual Doll Convention, VDC which is run by Rachel Hoffman, who has a, a doll shop that was run by her mum, and she grew up in that shop. And it's in Denver, Colorado. It's called Turn of the Century Antiques. And um, so Rachel has taken over the shop, has taken over the running of the business. And so she's created this virtual doll convention, which is amazing. So it opens up to the whole world the option of buying these dolls and joining in with all the fun because it's all online and it's fabulous. So I'm don't, not sure how I came upon the virtual doll, doll convention, probably just from watching Rachel's videos because she talks about all sorts of antique dolls and all dolls. And I think that's how I came upon it. So then I've just recently ordered this Elowen Wild by Robert Tonner from the Virtual Doll Convention. She is a basic, let me see what it says here. It says, Chasing Rainbows Basic 2 Made in China. Let me just show you that so you can, there we go. You can see what it says on the box. So she's a basic. Um, she's not, Robert Tonner puts out with Rachel um, a few different dolls, a few different Elowens and a few different Nemas. Nema is similar size to Elowen, but she has dark skin and she's stunning. Um, this Elowen has light skin and she's stunning as well, I must say that. And then there is a, 
a grey doll, which is kind of like an, a grown-up version, like a, a lady kind of doll. Um, and she's just in a, a light skin tone, but all sorts of different hair colours. Anyway, so Robert Tonner creates outfits for them and they get sold in a beautiful outfit with all accessories and wigs and all sorts of things. But this girl is a basic girl and she's really all I wanted. Well, no, she, she satisfied what I wanted because I, I will gradually, you know, buy her bits and pieces and just enjoy her. So I ordered her maybe only, I don't know, I should have looked at the date, shouldn't I? Sorry, everyone, maybe two and a half weeks ago. She's been, her owners, the people who bought her in America, so the new owners of Ella and Wild, you know, all the other people on Virtual Doll Convention who live in America have had their Ella ones for oh, a week or so, at least a week. And so they have already put videos up, but now it's my turn, even though it's after everybody else. But you know, what can you expect when you live at the bottom of the world? Um, I am actually a doll artist and I make reborn dolls. I also have dabbled in face-ups and also a bit of um, vinyl body modification. So not my own body, but on dolls. Um, so, But my main thing is making reborn dolls, painting and making them. But here we are with my other side of my hobby, which is other dolls. So let's have a look at this gorgeous girl after that long introduction. But I figured people might be here, um, you know, just for the Elowen. I would be if I saw an Elowen. Um, so, okay, let's just look at this beautiful paper before I go any further. We looked at the beautiful outside of the box. It came in a brown shipping box as well, which I've already taken off. Excuse the band-aid. I'm sorry about that. I had to decide, is it better to look at a Band-Aid or, or a damaged thumb? So I went with Band-Aid, so just excuse that. So, okay, we have this lovely firm paper that's got gold. Looks like Elowen's all over it. Beautiful. So let's come do that. So I did order a couple of extra things with Elowen at the time, and I'll show you what I got. So, okay, so that's there. So these must be all the extras. And let's wait to see who's in here. Yeah, let's just do this bag. I'll show you what's in there. So I'll just undo that. Now, if you don't know me, I only have the use of one hand. So nothing looks very elegant when I'm doing things on camera, but I'll do my best. Can we see that? It's approximately, can't we? So let me just pull out this little doggy first, because I, I, bought, I couldn't help myself. I bought this poodle. Isn't it so cute? So that will, could go with any of my dolls, many of my dolls, not any, because it depends on their size, but there we go. She's fluffy, let me, <sighs> that didn't help much. Anyway, there's a the little face. It's cute, isn't it? How could I resist that? I couldn't. So, okay, that's one thing I ordered extra. What is this? Oh, this is a little dress I ordered. This was, yeah, there it is. I'll undo it for you and show you, because it's a bit, Hard to see in the plastic. Let me just undo it off camera. I just fancied this little sundress. It wasn't selling out, so maybe people didn't like it. It came in this blue version and a yellow version. And blue is basically my favourite colour, so I went with the blue. Let's have a look at it. It's almost out of the packet. Okay. So here, it's this little simple little shift. It's gorgeous. You can just see if I can show you. It's hard to see all in one hit, isn't it? It's got a little belt that just ties around the waist and then it's got a Peter Pan collar, which is white. And the body of the dress, which is a simple shift dress, is blue. And it's got those Swiss dots on it and then little white spots and some white flowers. So that that is her first outfit. She comes in a sort of outfit. Oh, it's a little bit creased in one corner, but I can fix that easily enough. So that, I got that as well. It's a poodle. Let's put that down. Now let's see what else I've got. This is a wig. As you can see, it's a beautiful wig. So I'll show you that in a minute. What is this? It's got to be like a... Where melancholy... Melancholy, is that what it says? Yeah, meets runway. I think Ellen's got a bit of an attitude. I don't know what this is. I, I didn't ask for this. This is just a present I got. So 
So isn't that gorgeous? Let me take it out of the plastic so you can see it better. It's like um what, like a mat, like a little mat. Maybe my yellow one can stand on it or sit on it or something. So I didn't know I was getting that. That's a little bonus. Thank you, Rachel. That's lovely. I really appreciate that. It's fun when you get a little surprise, isn't it? So I'll show you it better. Once it's out of the sticky, sticky plastic. And there we go. Let me see if I put it down here. Where can you see it? There you can see it there. Yeah, it's perfect. Isn't that gorgeous? She's so pretty. I guess that must be Elowen. Okay, so we've got that, which we didn't know we were getting, so that's exciting. Now what else have we got in here? We've got, it says BDC presents a January of joy, fashion and friendship. Join the toast to 2024, which is what I did. I think that might be Grace on the left and Elowen on the right, I think couldn't be sure but I'm going by their outfits because I know what fits you know that Grace can wear that um, equestrian outfit and Elowen wears that lovely vintage style dress so she yes the um, toast to 2024 was really really fun although I had to get up at four o'clock in the morning um, because when it was I forgot what the time was in in Colorado in Denver but it was four o'clock in the morning here. So I had an early start a couple of times to try and buy things. i um, got some little lollies. Yum, thank you very much, Rachel. Very much appreciated, that'll be fun. I wonder if I'll keep them for my grandchildren. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll have them for myself. And then we've got this beautiful wig. I'll take both wigs out and show you. This is a Space Buns wig. The other one's a very short little black wig. Um, and there's one more thing in here, which is also a surprise. And then I must comment on that bag. Cheers to Chic. Ring in 2024 with style at BDC. So this is like a coaster that you can put your drinks on. Let me just move it back a bit. There we go. You can see it better. There it is. So thank you, Rachel. Really amazing to get extras. And this gorgeous bag, which I will use to keep Eloise's outfits in as she gets them. Let me just try and make it flat so you can see it better. Better, I should say, not better. Hmm. So here we go. What does it say? Chic, sleek and mildly bleak. Virtual doll convention. Because Elowen does have attitude. She's quite a... She can be grumpy and she's quite um, outspoken. But yeah, so she's chic, sleek, and mildly bleak, which I think is great fun. Thank you for that, Rachel. That's going to come very in handy for me. So before we look at Elowen, shall we look at the wigs or shall we look at Elowen first? Okay, we'll look at Elowen first. Thank you for telling me. So let's take... Oh, wow, look at that. So all I had to do is lift up this tissue paper, and here she is, all tied in the box. Now let me see how best you can see her. How about if I do this? Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Let's, um, oh, she comes with gorgeous shoes. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I had no idea. I mean, I knew she was gorgeous, but you know what it's like. When you see a doll in person, it's just amazing. It's so beautiful. Same with the Reborns, you know. No matter what the lighting is or anything, the angles that I've shown them on, they're always better in, in real life than they are in pictures. Now... See, that wrist was not tied up, but this one still is. Oh, she's got a little bangle on. A silver bangle. Or double bang bangle, I think. We'll get her out in a sec. Don't worry, I'll pull her out now. Let's get... That's that one. Let's get this one. Can you see... Can you see? Oops, sorry, everybody. I always do that at least once per video. That time it was my glasses that, that bumped the, the, um, the ring light. So we'll take this off. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at her. Let me bring her up close so you can see her. We can take the plastic bag off her feet. She doesn't need that anymore. Come here, my darling. You've come to Australia. Yes, you have. So here she is. Let me show you as best I can so you can get a close up. Where's her face there? 
Can you see that? Is that good lighting? She's still got the net on her head. Let me take that off so you can see her better. Because who wants to see her through net? Not me. There we go. It's the white net off. And now you'll be able to see her better. She's got blonde hair. Oh, she hasn't got a bracelet on. Silly me, it's her um, Ellen Wild tag. Hang tag. I'll show you that too. Now, let me see. How can I best show you this girl? Probably like that. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her makeup. Beautiful eyes. Oh, she's gorgeous. And her lips are, uh, what colour would you call that? Sort of a, I don't know. I'm not very good with these kind of colours. They're definitely not red. They're, um, what? Oh, you can tell me in the comments because I can't even think. So that's her little face. So she's got, she's jointed at the neck and the shoulder, where are her shoulders and the shoulders and then the elbows, where are her elbows there? Elbows and there's her wrist and her wrist. So there we are. And then she's, um, let me see if I can show you her in her entirety. How could we do that? Come on, Ella, one. What, if we stand her up, can you see her or not? No, you can't, really can't see her that way. I just have to show her like this or perhaps move the box out of the way so anyway there she is and she comes in this sparkle arkley dress and this is a basic Halloween so her hair is a wig which is why I chose her I badly wanted Nima but she came with a with rooted hair and I love the fun of changing wigs so um and plus they can share wigs, so I um, that's why I decided not to get Elwyn this time, um, Nima this time. I'll wait till she's next released with a wig. Um, the wig that she came in, the rooted hair wig for Nima was absolutely stunning. It was a proper afro, it really looked good. But um, now if I lay her down, what does that do? Has she got undies on? Yes, yeah, she's got undies. Thank goodness she's got undies. Okay, that's good. Because, you know, you've got to have undies. Oh, she's got painted toenails and painted fingernails. I have to show you that up close. Because I'm discovering this along with you. Can you see her toenails? It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And look at her fingernails. Oh, my goodness. How exciting. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that face. How could you not want one of these? I couldn't help myself, honestly. I just couldn't. So, I assume she's vinyl. I think she is. Must be quite a hard vinyl, whereas the smart dolls are soft and a bit squishy. Not very squishy, but a bit squishy. And um, yeah, so there she is. Now, how can we, how can we show her off? Can she sit up? Yes, she can. Now, let me see if I can. Oh, how can I make it so you can see her better? What if she kneels? Can you kneel? I have to ask her nicely, don't I? Because she's had a long journey. I was out this morning and when I got home, this box was waiting for me. And I thought that could only be one thing. And it was this one thing that I've been waiting so excited for. So let me see if I can get her to, I'm just readjusting her hands. Let me see if she will kneel for us. Maybe I have to have a bit more balance than that. Let's try. Let's try. Now one leg stopped kneeling. There we go. That looks really uncomfortable, Ellen. I'm sorry, but it does look really awkward. Mm, this isn't so good. Now you can see the difficulties of working with one hand. It is quite tricky when you're trying to do these kind of things. But I really want you to see what she looks like. If I could figure out how to do that, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Maybe I just have to hold her so you can see her, but she's just stunning. What do you think of the wig? Isn't it gorgeous? Already needs a bit of a brush, which of course, oh, what a sacrifice. I'll have to brush it. <laughs> so much fun. I'll do that. And this little dress is just a simple little um, shift dress with spark gold. Actually, not gold. Sparkly, silver and um, colourful little sequins sewn in straight vertical lines up her dress. So she's gorgeous, but let me just get, let's see if I can get this leg down, there we go. Now let's look at the shoes. Don't know if you can see her at all. She's got a lean on her now. Come on, darling. There we go. There we go. 
Now let me just see if you can see her at all. You sort of can. You can see the top of her head. Let me see if I can lift her head up, which I need a counterbalance for. Now let's see if you can see that. Your hands there. Come on, darling. Come back here. Come back here. That's the way. That's the way. You have to look like you're comfy. Now let me see if you can see that. No, you still can't see her. What can I do? Hmm. I guess I could lower. Let me try that. It's very tricky with one hand, but I'll try. I'll use my shoulder as well. So let me just see if I can lower this a bit. That would help if we came down a bit from that. So if it jerks all of a sudden, don't get a fright anybody, okay? It's just me working with one hand on my tripod. That should do the trick. Maybe up a tiny bit. Yeah, we'll see what we can see what we can see if I can set her up a bit better. There we are. Now, darling yellow one, can you look a bit more to the camera? This way. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have fun with this girl, I tell you. I love her articulation. Really, really lovely. Can you see her there now? No, of course not. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Anyway, hopefully that's okay. Is that okay, yellow one? So she's, isn't she beautiful? Look at her eyes. I have a feeling she's got real eyelashes. Oh yeah, she has. Don't want to mix them up. She's got real eyelashes. So let me bring her up close again. Right here. No, you can't really see them, can you? So she's an amazing doll, honestly an amazing doll. And she was a limited edition, but I don't think she's all sold out yet. Nima sold out very quickly. Um, and Elowen, when I last looked, which was probably only a day or two ago, there were still some left. So, you know, if you want to grab one, go for it. Very worthwhile. So that's it. Oh, we haven't looked at the shoes. One of the most important, exciting things. Here are the shoes. Let me take them out of the plastic as well. They're high heels, because she's got high heel feet. She doesn't come with flat feet, so she always wears high heels, this girl, with her attitude. Come on, little shoe, out you come. We've got one out, we just have to get the other one. There we are. Now, I'll show you the shoes. Isn't that gorgeous? So they're white with silver spots on them, and they high heels with a, a filled in heel at the back and then an ankle strap and just a little strap that goes across the front of the toes. So very elegant. Let me see if you can see them if I put them here near her hang tag. Can you see them? Oh, you, you just about can. I'll just move them back a bit. There we are. There we go. They go perfectly with her sparkle arkley outfit. So should we do wigs? Do you want to see the wigs? I do. Let's let's do the wigs. So yeah, I'm very excited to have her. I can't wait to play with her. Isn't she gorgeous? Amazing doll. So there are going to be some other ones um, released that have been um, fully designed and dressed by Robert Tonner, and he does the most gorgeous, gorgeous outfits and shoes and bags and, you know, earrings and all manner of good things like that. that. That will come out, I think, a bit later this year. I'm not sure about when. So this is what the wig looks like. It's still in its little hand net. So let's take that off. Let's see how we go, if I can show you. It's a, a short little, just a very short little sort of pixie cut wig. And I love short hair on dolls, on, yeah, on dolls. And humans, I guess. Um, but I just love the style on a doll. This is a bit tricky. Let me just keep fiddling. Talk amongst yourselves while I try to get the the um, net off. And then I'll have to rearrange the hair slightly. And of course I dropped the wig. I'm going to bump you probably. Let me see if I can do it without bumping you. Okay, done. Now... This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can work out which is the front. I'm not 100% sure. Could it, let me show you what it looks like. Can you see that? 
so it's black it's very shiny and it's very short and once I get it on her I will have to um, probably you know work out which which side looks better for the back and which bit looks better for the front but that's what it looks like it's got some white tissue paper in there I won't do this on camera I'm sorry because it's very very tricky I have to be sitting a certain way and struggle and um, complain and you know all of that so that's that wig we'll put that on her lap that's one of your options my darling so when I get a Nima um, she will be able to share these wigs as well which is my evil plan you can't just have one doll with the type, you have to get more. Now here, let's get this red one out, which has got space buns. Has no fringe on it. Um, I do like, really do like fringes on dolls because, I don't know, I just do. Anyway, it doesn't matter, this one doesn't have a fringe, but I still loved it. So I had to get it. So this is what it looks like. It's going to be fun taking the netting off. This is what it looks like in there. Can you see the space buns? Aren't they so cute? How could you resist that? Oh, I couldn't. Anyway, it was amazing. The wig sold out really fast. I got the last one of this one because as soon as I had put it, paid for it, it was sold out. So I figured I got the last one. Um, so I was very glad. And this one, I didn't get the last one of this red one that, I, that I'm um, unveiling right now out off camera. But it sold out pretty fast after I had bought it. Um, which makes me think what I like is what other people like. Here we go. Let me see if I can... Oh, I can. Just hang on one second. Keep talking amongst yourselves. I'll just organise it a bit so I can present it nicely. So here's the underside of it. And that's the top of it. So it will just sit on her head like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And look, it's long. It's beautiful. Love, love, love it. So isn't she going to look elegant in that? So yeah, I'm so excited with all of these things. Thank you for coming to live with me, Eloin. You're more than, like, you're very welcome. You will find lots and lots and lots of friends in the doll room. All sorts of people to talk to. Probably nobody exactly your size, because she's, a, I think she's 16 inches. Well, I know she's 16 inches. And her body is called the RTB 102. And I figured that RTB stands for Robert Tonner body. And this is the second version for Elowen. It's a, well, actually it's basically her the first version. It's called 102. The Grace body is RTB 101. And apparently a few Elowens were made with that body, the same body as Grace has, but which is a more grown up kind of body. Um, but most Elowens now are this RTB 102, the, the newer version. So yeah, that's her with her poodle. Let's give her her poodle. You can have your doggy. I want to see if anybody can see that. No, not really. We'll move the shoes out of the way. And we'll just put your poodle there. He's going to need a little bit of brushing, isn't he? Because his fur's been squashed in the box. But I'll, I'll fix him up. I think he's just gorgeous. I think Elowen likes him. Yeah, he likes Elowen too. There we are. All right, everybody, I'll call it quits. Oh my goodness, what a long video. I guess it took me a while to unpack things, but thank you so much for being here and I hope you like my, my gorgeous new girl, my gorgeous Elowen. Let me bring her back up once more so you can see that face. Because how could you not want to see that face? Even though we've been together for ages, nearly half an hour. Mm, now her legs are in the way of the, of the stand. Where is she? There she is. Let's see if I can get her on straight. There we are. Now you get a good look at her and the, those eyelashes you can just see. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that. So if you can tell me what colour you think that lip, her lips are, I'm just not 100% sure what you would call it. Very nice. Okay, Eloin. Thank you very much for letting us film you today and your box opening and thank you for coming to live with me. Yeah, all right, everybody. Let me just pull it down so you can at least see her face. There we go. Isn't she beautiful? I love the articulation. It's amazing. And the detail, the, the nail polish and the polish on the toes. and the, They ma actually matches her lip colour, doesn't it? which is, I just can't describe it. Maybe you guys can help me. So thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be back to back to uh, Reborns 
in my next video, but I just couldn't help but bring this brand new beautiful girl on to show you. So thank you very much for joining me and Eloan. Take care everyone and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.